Kayak Fishing Tales is brought to you by Ocean Kayak, makers of the Trident and Ultra series of fishing kayaks, and the Torque, which features a removable Minn Kota motor. Check them out at OceanKayak.com. You know, one of the downsides to kayak fishing, it tends to be really hard on your fishing gear, especially if you're fishing in salt water. So this week, we're going to look at how to keep your tackle in good working condition. Even the largest fishing kayaks are actually a pretty small platform, and it's an ongoing battle to keep your gear corrosion free. But there's really no point in keeping your gear corrosion free if you're sending it to the bottom. It's very easy on this small platform to drop things over the side from a case of slippery fingers. So it's always a good idea to keep all your gear leashed. The general saying is, if you don't have your gear secured, you're gonna lose it. Fortunately for us, there's a lot of items out there that help keep your gear on the boat. Your rods and reels are likely the most expensive item on your kayak. So what I tell my clients, if the rod isn't in your hands, it should have a leash on it. Rod leashes can be purchased at a lot of different kayak shops, and they're also pretty easy to make yourself. Of course, a leash isn't going to stop your rods from breaking or your reels from getting jammed full of sand if you get rolled in the surf. This is why it's always a good idea to stow your gear below deck if you're paddling in rough conditions, like surf zones or river current. Now this is where the Ocean Kayak Trident really shines. It's got the rod pod center console hatch, which makes it really easy to slide your rods inside the kayak to protect them. Although your rods and reels are probably the most costly piece of equipment that you can lose, probably the most common piece of equipment to get lost are your fishing tools like pliers and boga grips. These can easily slip through your hand and bounce off the side of the boat. A simple solution for some of your smaller tools is to attach a small float to them so they'll float to the surface if you do drop them off the side. Another solution is to attach a gear retractor to your PFD and attach your tools to that. That's why I like the new boomerang tool because it has the gear retractor built into the handle so the chances of me sending it over the side are pretty slim. Now on the topic of keeping all your gear safe from rust, the trick is to keep it as dry as possible. That's why I keep all of my gear, hooks, tools in a Plano dry box. In fact, a lot of people don't know it, but the back of the kayak that I'm sitting in here, the Ocean Kayak Trident, was designed around the Plano Marine dry box. This is one of the most convenient pieces of gear on the market. You can use it as a catch-all for your lures, electronics, and you can also use the other Plano tackle boxes and just drop them right in. Of course, it's impossible to keep your gear completely dry. And so if it does get wet, the trick to avoiding rust is to rinse off any salt water and let it dry as quick as possible. In particular, you need to do this with the waterproof cases because not only do they keep water out, but they'll keep the moisture in. Now a cool little device that I use to keep my pliers rust free is the Holds It Tool Saver. A couple of blasts of WD-40 inside of it will keep my pliers rust free and working great. For more tips and your chance to win a fantastic kayak fishing package that includes an Ocean Kayak Trident Fishing Kayak and Ex Officio Clothing, visit kayakfishingshow.com.